Welcome back, sports fans, to the only show that sweeps every series. I'm Chris Carr. And I'm Patrice Watson. And today we're going back. And forth. In track and field this Saturday, Cal hosted the Cardinal in the 116th annual Big Meet. On the women's side, the Bear the Bears beat Stanford with a score of 84-79. to 79. Some key runners included Deborah Mayer and Sophia Oberg. Stanford was ahead in the beginning, but by the time the distance girls ran, the score was tied 79-79. to 79. It all came down to the final 4x4, which was very exciting, with a three-second win for the Bears, clinching the title. So Chris, do you think they'll be able to sustain this win in the coming years? I really do think they, they can uh, win going forward because they've got good freshmen and sophomores. They've got a good young uh, group of, of athletes there. And, you know, Deborah Mayer is one of the best players on the team. And, um, you know, and any, anytime you beat Stanford as well, that's a good thing for, for the Cal team. Yeah, exactly. I mean, Mayer, she won the 1500, she won the 3K. She's looking great. She's only a sophomore. So also Sophia er Oberg, um, second in the 1500. We have a really strong women's distance team, and I think that's going to keep us going. The Major League Baseball season started last week, and the two Bay Area teams, the Giants and the A's, are combined 12 and 13, but no Bay Area team is as hot right now as the California Golden Bears, who are riding an eight-game winning streak and have swept two consecutive series. They beat Arizona in three games at Evans Diamond and then swept the USC Trojans at Dado Field this past weekend. This coming weekend, they play Washington at home. And so, Patrice, are the, is the team going to be able to sustain the success that they've had so far going through the rest of the season? You know, Chris, I really think they're going to be able to keep up their winning streak. I mean, they have an eight winning streak backbone to come right. off of. And coming up, we're playing Washington at home, mm -hmm. which is a really big advantage because we'll have our Cal fans and the Cal spirit is really going to keep the winning streak going. Well, and I think, you know, you're, you're right there. But with the Washington series, you think back to last year, and they lost <laughs> all three games up in Seattle. But I think this is a different team completely. You know, we knew that at the beginning of the year they were going to have to rely on their pitching, and they've done that. But they've also got some key contributions from guys like Brian Gwynn mm -hmm. and uh, and even some, so like Marcus Anderson. Simeon. Anderson on the mound. So, I mean, I think they're, they're riding a really good hot streak right now. And, and Washington's a different team as well, so being at home was definitely going to be an advantage, yeah, key advantage. Um, coming up this weekend. And, and nobody expected them. 20 and 10 through 30 games, I don't think anybody expected that. Alexis Gray lost from the California women's basketball team finished the season in early April the way any team strives to by claiming a championship and cutting down the nets, even if it was for the WNIT. Now, they played B Miami, which was largely considered to be the butler of the women's bracket, and led by Denisha Stallworth's 22 points and Gray Lawson's 17, the Bears were able to claim the championship. So, Patrice, does this championship give the team momentum going forward into next season? I think this is providing men momentum going into the next season. Um, I think that by winning the WNIT, it really built up the confidence of the women's team. And even though we weren't predicting to be in the WNIT, I think just the fact that we have a team championship, we're going into the next year. I mean, we have four freshmen on the team, but it's it, good to boost our morale. Exactly, and those freshmen, really, at the end of the year, they're not playing like freshmen. They're going to be, you know, sophomores next year, so they're going to have a lot more experience going for mm -hmm. you you lose Alexis Gray Lawson to the WNBA the third round selection but um, yeah. but I do think you're right that having a championship of any kind is still something that most teams can't say our own Kevin Cohen said last week that you know he'd rather have his team not necessarily win the WNIT but um, but you know I, I think he'd take this championship well that just about wraps things up here from Haas Pavilion I'm Chris Carr and I'm Patrice Watson don't forget to check Cal TV to get your download on WhatsApp and Cal Sports.